It is one of the biggest aviation mysteries of our time. Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 disappearing a decade ago. That plane carrying 239 people vanished from radars less than an hour after departing Kuala Lumpur for, for Beijing. Now the curiosity surrounding what happened and where that plane is, is resurfacing. And while dozens of searches of the Indian Ocean have produced zero evidence to answer those questions, now the deep sea explorers claiming to have found Amelia Earhart's plane, 164,000 feet below the Pacific, say they have the technology to find MH370. It's the focus of the new episode of Reality Check with Ross Coulthart. To find it, just take out your phone, scan the QR code right here at the bottom of your screen, or visit News Nation's website. But News Nation special correspondent Ross Coulthart has covered this story since it broke in 2014 and uh, now on Reality Check as well. Ross, good morning to you. Do you think this deep sea vision company really has the technology it takes to locate this plane at the bottom of the Indian Ocean? I do, but the big question is, are they going to be looking in the right place? And that's what we're looking at in our investigation, because a lot of the original search was focused on the presumption that the plane was uncontrolled at the time that it crashed into the ocean. The big question now is, was that assumption correct? And what that's what we're looking at. We're looking at whether there was a conspiracy to hijack the plane. That's the new angle. Mm -hmm. We have a clip, Ross, of your latest episode where you interview two people, both with extensive knowledge of the case, both even have written books about the plane's strange disappearance. They have a theory on what could have happened to the plane. Let's take a listen. I think that there is enough evidence to show exactly what happened to the airplane. I don't think there's any doubt. This is not a complicated thing at all, Ross. It was not complicated at all for this pilot to make that airplane disappear. It would be very complicated if it was, in fact, some kind of, a, of, of an accident. It would take a, 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 a very complicated series of events for an accident to have caused this airplane to disappear. We both share the frustration of not knowing for sure what really happened to MH370. In a nutshell, the plane did not disappear. It was disappeared. Ross, clarify that one for us. What did that French journalist mean when she said the plane was disappeared? How did you take that? She flatly accuses the American government of a conspiracy. She thinks that the Chinese were taking possession of technology that was being illicitly smuggled on MH370. And without a lot of evidence, I think, she suggests that the American government was involved in a conspiracy to essentially bring the plane down and steal back what was on board. Uh, that's one of the two theories we explore in the program. Wow, uh, that would uh, certainly be something. When can we expect, do you think, uh, the, the search to launch and how long do you expect that to take? A lot still hangs on whether the Malaysian government's going to agree because they have to come up with the cash to pay for this new search. This is very expensive. I've reported on these searches in the past and they cost hundreds of millions of dollars. You're looking at sending cameras down six to seven kilometres underwater because of the length of the cable that they have to use. It's a phenomenal technological achievement. And frankly, the, the fact that we haven't found the plane before now in 10 years, frankly, it means we've been looking in the wrong place, Marky. And so that's why we're looking in this program at alternative explanations. We're looking at the possibility that we just have made key false assumptions in looking for the plane where we were looking. Yeah, well, I know it's important to find it, not only to piece together what happened to make aviation safer, but to also bring closure to those families who have waited a decade uh, for answers. Ross Coldhart, always good to have you. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.